So I'm going to walk you through some of the features that are available in the beta version 2 of the Leo board on code.protrogrande.com. You can see the URL here at the top of the page if you want to go check this out. What this is, if you haven't seen it before, is it is a view of the Toastmasters dashboard. So I'm going to assume that you know what a Toastmasters club is, what an area, division, district are, what the Distinguished Club program is, and that you have some awareness of the individual goals that make up that program. So I'm going to leave those all to the side and just walk you through the software. So what we're seeing right now is the latest uh, data available for District 96. We have a number of controls with this uh, version 2 tool. So for example, I can grab the slider here and I can go pop over and see how is District 21 doing and see an immediate refresh. I'm going to go back to 96 because they're my home district. I see an immediate breakdown across the top here with this bar showing me where the clubs are attending in terms of the Distinguished Club program. So I can see that if I look from 5 and to the left, essentially, that it's a pretty small percentage that are distinguished at this point that have those 5 points or greater. And then I see the detail on the individual clubs presented down here. And this is all live and showing me what's happening with those individual clubs. If I mouse over the club, I'll get a little tooltip that will give me some more detail. And if I mouse over different sections of the website, I'll get different information depending on where I go. So if I mouse over the district, I get a total number of clubs, 152. I can see that the gross majority of these clubs are not meeting the membership requirement right now. We're averaging 17.3 members, and there's a significant percentage of clubs that don't have a coach right now, which is good to know. I can also look at that same detail on a distinguished club basis. So I can say clubs that currently have one point, that's about 30% of the district. And of these clubs, 18 don't have a coach and an average 13.8 members. One fun thing to do is you can mouse over and look at the average size of clubs, six, 13, eight, 18, two, 22, seven. And you can see that as you get more distinguished club points, generally speaking, you'll have a larger club. Or if you wanna look at the other way, if you have a larger club, you tend to get more distinguished club points. Now if we mouse over the individual clubs we see information being presented to us. So for example in Talk of the Town we can see that they have eight goals, that they required 20 members, that they have 28. We also get some live text. So in this case select distinguished club, only one more goal tell presidents distinguished, doing great for membership. Good. But if we wanted to look at, here, here's my particular home club, Prince George Toastmasters, plan and champion could get this club rocking, gain five members to qualify for DCP. Now I can see the membership required just in these numbers here. Generally speaking, we operate with red is bad, uh, yellow is close, green is good. So this club, Salsa Speakers, needs nine members. And similarly, when we're mousing over this, that little scorecard that we see at the bottom there indicates where we're performing as far as goals are concerned. So in this club, they've achieved goals 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. And they're partially complete on 2 and 9. And they have not accomplished goal 4 yet. So if you know your distinguished club, you can work that backwards and see where they're standing makes sense they don't have officers trained, which is goal number nine, because we haven't had officers training yet. Now, there's a number of grouping and sorting options, so I can group this by area. If I'm division governor, division D, I can go and look through here. I can see a number of my clubs still require coaches or are eligible for coaches. In fact, just about half the clubs in my division are in that state right now. And additionally, I can see the kind of shining star of my division is Spruce Capital right now. And if I was an area governor, same thing, just a smaller view. So let's say I'm area 41 governor. I can see I've got four clubs right now, two of which have coaches, which is good, one of which is eligible for a coach. And I can see what goals they've performed on so far. Interesting. We can group and sort by other things. We can look at it as far as distinguished club in kind of like a histogram view, see how things are going. We can also look at it from the perspective of coaching status. So what this is telling me right now is this big lump of clubs is all the ones that are eligible for a coach but do not have them. This group has is eligible for 
a coach and has one, they might be eligible for a second coach in some of these circumstances. For example, Quinell Toastmasters Club could have a second coach without any issue. And the this one club has two coaches, so couldn't have any more. And all the rest of these clubs are doing fine. They don't need coaches. Or they're not eligible for coaches anyways. We can change the sort order as, as well. This is a little bit more esoteric, but if you did want to look at things differently, show me by area and then... I don't know, show me from the perspective of uh, needing members with going left to right in terms of m club needing the most help to club needing the least. Lots of different ways that we can look at this. And of course, because this is a live chart, we can dial this to any point in time that we have data for. District 96 has only existed back to July 2014, but if I did want to see where it opened up, I could see that. And if I wanted to see where it ended the year last year, I could dial it back. Let's take the grouping out. Sort by, I don't know, let's say distinguished club. And now we get a bit of a better view. So almost half of the clubs in this particular district at the end of last year were distinguished as far as DCP is concerned. Now as to whether they had the membership requirement, you'd have to take a scan through here and see, but at least gives you a sense. So this is one of the public tools that's available on Pacho Grande. It's the one that we've been spending the last couple months working on. It has some neat features. A lot of technical things are going on in the background. There's JSON feeds that are feeding the district chart, that are feeding the raw data that could be used by other people and leveraged by other tools. Uh, there's lots of bells and whistles that we haven't really got into, but it's just another way of looking at the same information on the dashboard. So if you don't like looking at numbers so much and you want to look at this from the perspective of colors and have some live advice popping up for your clubs as something you can use. And you can, of course, go to your own district, whether using the sliders or whether using the uh, URL. You can embed this, put this on your website, check it out when you're so inclined. and. Yeah, hopefully this gives you a sense of what the Leo board can do. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, you can always email me, uh, mcar at pachogrande.com. I'll put my email in the description. And uh, if this is something you're interested in, love to see your comments, love to see your, your thoughts. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, we look forward to coming up with some new bells and whistles as the weeks and months go on. Thank you.